Hello everybody, I'm Damon and welcome to another video tutorial and this is part of my pro tip series and in this little video we're going to look at how to solve um, the skin weight lock problem. Um, so what is the skin weight lock problem? It's basically when you start painting weights and you get an error saying, hey, uh, these weights are locked and we'll just paint 100% um, weight onto uh, an object, an influence object that could be a bone, a curve, or even mesh to your other mesh, and it will not do the smoothing apparatus. And the reason is it does this, it's due to how we set up the skinning to begin with, and I'm going to show you how to fix it and how to get around this specific problem. All right, so let's jump into this. It's a short video, so let's do it. So I have a mesh, a bone, and a curve that's going to be my influence object. So I'm going to start off by just skinning really simply um, this character, and I'm going to go into the skinning app attributes. So I'm going to go into bind skin, open this here, I'm just going to reset it. Uh, so by default, What's happening is just saying, you know, choose the entire hierarchy of the bones, uh, use the default um, uh, bind method, because uh, you can just choose any kind of bind method, um, how the skin volume is going to save. I usually change this to uh, weighted, that way I can always decide um, how it's going to uh, distribute the weights and sorry how it's going to normalize the weights and then how it's going to distribute the weights then it's going to tell ask me basically hey how many bones do you want to have a certain vertex be influenced by and this is where all the problems begin and end with that weighting issue so i'm just for the sake of it i'm going to put it to one because this is basically what it's going to do is going to cause that trouble so I'm going to apply, and you're going to see I got uh, skin weighted. It's turned purple when I'm there, and if I move the skin around, it's going to move the face around. Great. I'm all happy. I'm done with the skinning. But let's say I want to add another bone or an influence object such as this curve. So I'm going to go over here and go to skinning. Go all the way down to edit influences, add influence, open its settings over here, and I'm going to reset this as well. And by default, it basically asks me a whole lot of questions. I'm not going to get into it, but the one thing I tend to do is always turn on lock skin weights. And the reason I want to do this is because I want to add in an influence but not create new skin weights because sometimes I've worked on a character, let's say the eyes, the mouth, and so on, and painted, and I'm very happy with what I got there, but I don't want to ruin it by adding a new influence and it's just going to grab weights nilly-willy. So I want to control it. So I'm going to put lock skin weights. And apply. So now, if we look over here, I got this uh, this curve. It's not doing anything because it's no skin weights. So let's do that. Let's add some skin weights first. And I'm just going to go uh, paint some skin weights. And I'm going to get this little icon. So the first issue I can see is that my curve here has a lock on it. So once I open the lock, you'd say, okay, it's no longer locked skin weights, right? Let me just stop that docking thing there. All right. So uh, I'm just going to come and paint, and you can see that I get the error. I say weight uh, could not be set due to locked influences. So I'm just going to paint that there. All right. So, oh no, why is that not working? So let's start looking at what's not lurking. Uh, working. So if I have this guy and I'm pulling it, it is working. It is pulling the skin weights. But what what happens when I try to smooth? It's going to act really weird. Well, actually, it's not acting. Yeah, it is acting really weird. It's pulling it at 100% and not at, let's say, 30%. So if I did that, again, 100%. So it's very weird, its behavior. It's not something that we want. We want this to behave in a, in a better method. So how do we fix this? Well, it's fairly simple. What we need to do is go to the skin cluster node. And to do that, you just need to be in the, in the attribute editor over here. Uh, right click on that little arrow and go down to skin cluster. In this case, it's skin cluster 44. And we have several options here. 
Um, one of which is uh, over here, which is the influences. So I'm going to up that to like five for now, and immediately you'll see a difference when I start painting. You can see it's now smoothing out, and I'm not getting that error anymore, and the error is fixed. So now I can add as many influences up, well, not as many, up to five influences on these verts. All right, cool. Another thing that you probably want to do is turn on Use Components. That will allow you now not just to move the curve, but also to move its components. So if I have uh, a vert there, I can now move the vert and be able to control that section there, giving me a nice option. Well, that's it for me. Uh, I made this uh, a short and cute video. I hope this is helpful to you all. I came across this problem several times. It frustrated me because there wasn't really any uh, good documentation out there. Hopefully this is helpful. Uh, with that being said, I would bid you adieu and please check in and if you have any other ideas or problems that you guys come across and you want me to help you out, uh, let me know what the problem is. I'll make a short video. I'll be great. See you guys all in the next tip and tricks.